Hello everyone. Welcome to another SolidWorks tutorial. In this tutorial we will discuss how to link the dimensions and weight of the part to a drawing file using custom properties. And next we will save the drawing file as a drawing template so that we can use it for other project without having to do it over and over again. This is very useful and stay tuned. I have already created a simple part to shorten this video and let's add custom properties. There are few ways of adding custom properties to a part. Today I am going to use summary information dialog box. We can launch summary information dialog box using file menu and selecting properties summary information dialog box we are going to use custom tab or we can simply select this file properties command from quick access toolbar to launch summary information dialog box before that let's uh, make the dimensions visible we can do this by right clicking on annotation and selecting show feature dimensions now you can see the length and width and the height of the part and also I'm going to assign a material right click on material edit material and I will add stainless steel let's add alloy steel click apply click ok press ctrl 7 now we are ready to add custom properties to this part launch summary information dialog box clicking on this file properties command and use custom tab there are four columns property name type value text expression and evaluated value so we have to fill up these first three columns you can select predefined uh, property names from this drop down list or you can add your own name so I will add length and and next the type I will keep it as text and under value text expression again you can select predefined preset variables from this drop down list like mass material density volume and for this case we need the dimensions so you can select preset variable from drop down list or you can enter a value or you can link dimensions from the part so now I'm going to link 75 millimeter click on this cell and then select the dimensions now it is selected the dimension is linked with the length press tab key and evaluated value is 75 repeat the same thing for the width type width and text and the dimension select 50 press tab key and 50 is added to evaluated value same thing click here and type height and change the type text and click on this cell and select this height value press tab key 60 is added now let's add the material so here you can select the predefined property name material it's already there and uh, the value text expression you can select material so the material that we applied to the part is assigned to this evaluated value so length width height and materials are added to custom properties 
now you can click ok you can always go back to the property uh, summary information dialog box and edit them if necessary and now click ok now custom properties are applied to the part now let's see how to link this one these properties to the drawing i will go ahead and open up new drawing file click on select drawing template click ok and let's select the size i will select a4 an si portrait and click ok and go to view layout and model view the part is already selected i will simply create only isometric and place the part and i will change it to shaded with edges and i will change the scale to one to one and click ok now the part is added to the drawing and let's see how we can link the dimensions to do that you have to edit the sheet you can edit the sheet by right clicking and edit sheet format now you are in the sheet editing mode you can either add those values to the title block or you can add it to somewhere else i rather add it outside the title box go to annotation click on note i will type length and again i will type width and again i will type height and the last weight now i'm going to add add another note in front of length and delete it and do the same thing and do the same thing and do the same thing press escape to exit the command and now click on this note and the note property manager is launched so from this launch note property manager select link to property command from this icon click on that command and use model found here option and use drawing view is specified in sheet properties option and the part is selected let's select the length the custom property is we can select the custom property from this drop down list select length click ok the length is added the length is linked from the part to the drawing and now click ok go to the second and click on link properties model found here and width click ok click ok and go to height link properties model found here and select height click ok and now the weight oops it is material you can add weight as well and you can add material as well so since we have added custom property as material so let's do this one for material select this knot link properties model found here and material click ok click ok and you can have a nice little table if you want and exit the command now the length width height of the part and the material is added you can add the weight as well like i mentioned before now let's save this 
let's convert this drawing to a template file to do that select this view and delete it click yes and when you rebuild this variables become disappeared and now go to save click on save as and file type change to drawing template let's add a meaningful name a4 and dimension and material matrix click ok click save now you can close the file let's see let's change this uh, dimensions to test what we did I change this to 100 and I change this to 25 and rebuild and now let's I will change the material edit material I will change this to galvanized steel click apply close and let's create new drawing files when you click on new create new file you can see the template that we just added is available so we can select a4 dimension and material matrix click ok you can see the wordings are there and let's add the model I will add only the isometric view change the custom one to one custom scale place the item and click ok now you can see the length width height and mat materials are updated accordingly so I hope this is really useful function and uh, custom properties is a broader topic I will explain it by step by step doing this type of simple videos please like add your thoughts into comment field subscribe the channel to get new videos thank you for watching